Hi guys, welcome back to Robocop game. Uh yeah, video two. Uh yeah, let's just carry on from where we started, I think. So let's go back. Here we are, this is where we've got to. So yeah, if I remember we just did a I think it was a side mission, right? So, so. Set my objectives. I'll see what we're going to do. So, primary is uh, search for suit. I'm going to go into a arcade, am I? If I remember right, like, yeah, arcade downtown. So, yeah, let's make his way there. So, back and off we go. Are you enjoying the game so far? It looks pretty good. Quite enjoyable. What a nostalgic touches. I find, especially, you know, very, uh, very uh, reminiscent to the film, isn't it? So, uh, 126 yards. I'm going to go off to some side missions, but I'm going to try and keep to the main missions. So if, I, if I see a side mission, what seems to be a little interesting, I might go and uh, do it. I don't want to do too many side missions though because uh, it'll take too many videos. I just want to do the main missions mainly. Be right in. I give him a ticket. I give him a ticket, shall I? Hang on. Oh, it's a cutscene. What could ever crash in then? Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. Screw you, man! Did I follow him? Yeah, let's go again. Tell it off, shall we? Do any of you guys playing this game at the moment? What machine are you playing it on? A PS5? Series X, Series S, Xbox, PC. Maybe you enjoying it if you are. Let's uh, aim this way, didn't it? I've got another clue. Where did he go? Now let's go back to the main mission. He'd come up here, didn't he? I don't know. He's he's gone. He's run off. <laughs> I told him he won't be doing no more graffiti. If you feel lonely, you know where to find me, officer. Feeling lonely. Not tonight. Hang on. Past the. Uh, we're in the arcade. Check out the arcade, shall we? Got, uh, I hope we've got some change. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man. So I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? I don't need a warrant. But first, what I'm a check. douchebag. 
check out this uh, arcade. Let's see what machines we've got. Oh, a tabletop there, look. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Okay, big ass okay, isn't it? Pretty much so, that machine. What's this one? Drugs, is it? amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I promise I will cherish you more often your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man a real like TJ laser you are so incredibly shiny I'm definitely getting more of this stuff who sold you drugs I really shouldn't say but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you. As long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, it's all in the 
have uh, this. There we go. I'm coming in. Open the door. I have the warrant. Upsy, I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. No chance! Room here. Is there anything to uh, just grab? Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't can a guy just regret. sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? Shit, you hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me?
You could get your sentence reduced if you cooperate. Yeah, but if word gets to Soot, he won't do business with me again. Once I am done with him, he will not be doing business with anyone. <laughs> That's a good point. I think we've got a deal. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building, a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice... for now. Okay, I'll go. Save. Gotta get to level six, and I. We gotta look for things to upgrade, man. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. Objectives. We've been down the arcade, so follow the ghost house. That's what I'm doing it. Oh yeah, hang on. Oh, yeah, we've got Emerald, he's in hiding in here, look. So uh, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score.
go. You need to be taught some manners. Bits lying about the floor. Watch out, keep Legs up. Line around, right? Oh, Suck my freaking hand off!
can't open that yet either. Take full damage, that's ideal. Good to know. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. And my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR fall off the back of the truck, you know? What did it do? It was following. It turned out <laughs> to be just... groceries. So they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want. Come on, pickles, get a move so on. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. On slouch. You know what they say, the good business is where you find it. Come on, put your foot down.
It's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very far from me. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. A little side mission. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? 
He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know. I didn't know how could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Well, move um, on, mate. Are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Good evening, citizens. I need. Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players- That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he was so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah? Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its per- I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his.
Yeah. Uh, looks like it's on the roof then, is it? Um, how do we get on the roof? So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. Wanna smash that? Threw out the chalk here. I found something. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't wanna go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not- Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours... They take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... <sighs> and you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength to even help. An ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support? Mom. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense, so he'll let you off with a warning, right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Will you tell my mom about the gun? No, she doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Partner, what's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Okay, we'll go to the slaughterhouse. Uh, should, uh, save it for today. Looks like that nice. Drive to the old slaughterhouse. 
Only 50 meters. I'm not driving. I got a car anyway. Where's my car? I got a car. Oh, oh yeah. It's 21 meters to my car. So. Ah. So, yeah, might have to. Uh... This is where Sook is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't. No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. Let's do this final bit here. See what. See what it's all about, and we'll call it. A, save it, and well, again, next video. But. Uh, we cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still oh, holding you sneak. back. <clears throat> oh, go okay. ahead, partner. Man. <laughs> oh, a stench. Someone missed potty training. What is now? If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Wait, I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. A kid. Pickles, like a dog's name, eh? Or well, dog pickle. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Torchhead's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple oh, subjects. I'm, I'm gonna carry that.
the ship. Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Oh, oh. Okay, this one. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Probable cause confirmed. Hey there, Murphy. Behind you. Now, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us.
Oh, I'm too. Badass gun. Myself, right? I've got eyes on the stage. Looks like they haven't realized we're here yet. Look here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get anything out of the torch, that's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Knock your 
yourself out. That's not even mine. Hey, that stuff doesn't come to me. No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal. I freaking hate you! I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! Yourself out. That's I'm not even mine. Hey, that stuff doesn't come cheap. That's enough. I'll talk. Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town meth. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Well, I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. Left tip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? That way. What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? them wanting more. That's a rider you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. <sighs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. 
My brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, well, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot. And I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 100 and... You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals that help. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Ali. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. It does not matter. Since I'm here to treat your human side, I'll refer to you as Alex Mer I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experience, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. I am a machine, built using OCP's finest technology. The best money can buy, from what I hear. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive your... Perceive? Yes.
This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? No. Not at all. It's actually my... You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This... Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. An Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little... Do you fear malfunctioning machines? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. I didn't do two of them secondary objectives. So, got the main objectives completed, and I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. Um, save it, and we'll start the next video. Next time, start the ne continue the story on the next video. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're going to Leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber and you like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds, you do help this channel out greatly. And I do appreciate it as well. So, uh, yeah, on that, on that note, I'll leave you now. I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Keep watching and peace.